today we'll be going over our demo of our team software. What this essentially does is it puts all your employees on one single dashboard so you as the administrator can log in, see all your employees, track analytics, add to Apple Wallet, manage and edit their information in real time, and also assign certain employees permissions while also removing permissions from other employees. So this is what the back end of our system looks like. When you first log in as the administrator, as the owner of the account, you'll log in and you'll see all your employees on this one nice convenient dashboard. As we scroll down here, we call this the profile snapshot where you can see basic information about the employee, like Jennifer works in customer service, Ricardo works in talent acquisition, Johnny Smith is a sales executive, they work for TapTag, we see their email addresses and a couple of brief information about their profile. If we were to click on Johnny Smith's name, for example, we would view his profile live. And this is what his profile essentially looks like. These are built for mobile because you'll be using your NFC tap cards and tap products to tap onto a smartphone. So we obviously want to make sure this works and looks the nicest on mobile. As we scroll down, we get to see Johnny's profile. Uh, part of the team's plan is you get some button animations where you can make some things wiggle to really draw attention to this specific button. As we scroll down, you can embed video on the profile. And these are embedded right in the profile itself. So they play directly from the profile without having to exit it at all. If the user wanted to download their contact, they could download contact here. All these buttons are clickable, so we could click to email, click these to go to the Instagram, for example. So if we click that, it goes to Instagram. All of these buttons are completely editable and customizable for where they direct to. And you could add as many buttons as you'd like. You could also add simple text. You could add social icons, the address. You have a QR code right here, along with a couple other cool things that come on the Teams platform. You may also add your company branding. So this rectangular colorful brick here is completely customizable on the Teams platform. And as we scroll down, so is these links and logo down here. So you can completely custom brand this to your company look. So as we know, if we click Johnny's name, it views his profile. If we click his profile code as well, it will also view the profile. And we could also click this, the convenient copy button right here if we wanted to text it out to somebody, email it to somebody, or maybe even put it in Johnny's email signature. We could just share his profile code very quickly and very easily. If we wanted to edit Johnny's profile, we go into the edit profile tab right here. and takes us to our advanced editor. From here, you are able to change Johnny's picture. You can scroll down and this is what his profile looks like from the back end. These are all the buttons you saw previously. And if you wanted to drag this blue area, you can pull these buttons to wherever you want. If you click on the middle of the button, you could change the name of the button, and you could also change where it directs to. In addition to the button color, you can make it a half width or full width button. And like I showed you before, you can also add button animations and change the text color as well. So real quick, we're just gonna scroll down and add a new item here. To do that, you click the add widget button at the bottom. Doing so brings up a couple different options, like you could add generic text to your profile, a phone number, email, website link, and a bit of video. For now, we'll just add some generic text. So we're gonna click this. We're gonna say, welcome to my profile. We can change the text color to anything we want, but black will be okay. The font size, we'll just keep it medium for now. And we hit save and you can see this shows up as a new area down here. Then we could just simply drag this into position. Say we want to bring it towards the top and leave it right there. So that way when people see this profile, they see this first and foremost and we could like I said, drag buttons to wherever we want to. We could delete the button, completely edit Johnny's page. We could also edit the background colors of the page. We could change the cover photo, which is this block here. If we back up to go back to the dashboard here, there's a couple other cool things over here I want to explain. You download the QR code right here, and this is great because you can now print out your QR code to put it on copy paper. If you're going to a convention real quick, you could order paper business cards from Vistaprint and put our QR codes on it. That way people can easily download and share information with each other, even with the handout cards. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit because I wanna show you that every time somebody scans Johnny's profile or scans his QR code or clicks on his profile and his email signature, it does count as a page view analytic. So you can see that Johnny has just one view today, one this week, but 47 views this month and 1300 views this year so far. This is a great management tool to see who's using their card, maybe see if employees have lost their card, to see if they're really going hard on their networking skills. Another great feature that we offer in addition to these analytics is Google Analytics integration. So these are just basic page view analytics that integrate directly with TapTag. However, you can put your Google tag 
right into our platform and track these on a whole different level using all of the advanced reporting of Google Analytics. So you could uh, track page time, average view duration, bounce rate, what buttons people are clicking, how many actual views are being viewed right now in real time, how many clicks, how many unique visitors, the mobile browser to a dashboard browser, and so on. You can track everything by implementing your Google Analytics tag into our system. But like I said, by default, we just include the basic analytics on each individual profile for just quick viewing. So I want to go over profile mode. There's a couple of different cool options that you can do when somebody clicks on your profile, taps your card, or views your link. So if we click profile mode, the first option is to automatically download your contact V card into their smartphone. So assuming they're viewing you on a smartphone, a micro landing page is going to load in the background. And in the foreground, after about one second of loading, it's going to load the actually filled out contact card within their phone and all they have to do to save you is just hit create new contact. So it's as easy as tapping the card, both of these will pop up and then they just hit create new contact and all of your information, your emails, websites, phone numbers, picture, everything saved directly into their phone on both Apple and Android. The next cool option for the Teams package is a lead capture form. And what this is, is every time Johnny Smith's profile is viewed, a little contact form is going to pop up and this is a great way to capture leads of people you maybe see at a convention or out in the wild. What it does essentially, and I'll show you this slide, we'll, we're going to come back to this. We go to Johnny's profile and you can see because it's set to the lead capture form that this form pops up first and foremost. And This form is really cool because if I were to meet Johnny out in public, I would put my name here, put my email address, um, my phone number, my company. You can attach a picture, attach a resume, attach a file, take a picture right there on the spot. You can leave a message for Johnny. And then from there, when you hit send, what the system does is it CCs both Johnny, the first, the owner of the profile, and it CCs me, Tyler, with both of our contact information. So this form converts my information into a vCard file and emails it to Johnny. And in the same swoop, it also emails me with Johnny's information and his vCard. So it's a great way to exchange information. In addition to this, via Zapier, which is a common integration software, you can take these leads and import them directly into your CRM automatically. So like I said, using Zapier, when a lead is captured, you can now send it to Salesforce, Hootsuite, um, and many of the other major CRMs that exist. About 8,500 different platforms will turn this information into an actual contact in which you could follow up on, create leads in a pipeline for within your CRM. Backing up again, going back to profile mode. So we went over the auto download. We went over the lead capture form. You'd also have just the profile load if you don't prefer any of those. But the last cool one here is that you could redirect to any website that exists. Previously, if you had one of these two options select or one of these three options selected, it goes to your digital profile, which is meant to either exchange contact information or share your own contact information or really just show who you are on a micro landing page. But when you do redirect to another website, when somebody taps your tap tag, it's going to go directly to that website. So, for example, if I were to put my Instagram page on here and now somebody tapped my tag or viewed my profile, it immediately goes to the Instagram page. The cool thing is the analytics are still tracked. So if you want to have dynamic QR codes, you can put them all around. When somebody views them, because you have this one going to Instagram and this one going to TikTok, whatever it is, it does still count as a page view in, in analytics. The really cool thing about this is you could input maybe your Google review URL into this redirect and turn all of your employees into a review capture tool and maybe run a competition over the weekend to see who can get the most reviews. And then when Monday comes around again, back to business, you could turn this feature off and go back to the lead capture form and now direct back to business cards and going back to capturing leads for people. So as we exit out of this, the, another cool thing I wanted to mention as well is you can also add to Google and add to Apple Wallet. So to show you a quick example, I have my phone right here. I'm going to unlock my phone. I'm going to double tap the side button on my phone to show you the add to Apple Wallet. Here's my phone. And when I double tap the side button on my phone, you'll see my credit cards pop up. As we go down here, I have a tap tag profile that is within my phone. It's hard to see with the glare, but you can see my QR code, my name, my title, and my company right there. And if you scan this QR code, it will go right to my profile and track analytics and download my info into your phone. One of the next cool things that we have here is permissions. And what permissions do is by default, everybody is locked out of their profile. They can share their profile as much as they want, but nobody has edit access to their profile except you. 
but sometimes you have to assign permissions to maybe executives in your company or somebody who needs to change their profile on the fly all the time. We want to give him permissions to edit his profile. So like I said, nobody can edit their profile right now, but Johnny, if we wanted him to edit his profile, we'd go into permissions right here. And it gives us a couple different options. We can allow the user to edit their own profile. So that means when they log in, they can edit their own profile and do anything they want with it. And you could always log in and change it or audit it or do whatever you need to do, but they're only gonna see themselves. So this comes down to the next option here, which is allow users to see other profiles. And this will allow Johnny to log in, edit his own profile, but also see other profiles of people on the team. This last one allows the user to edit other people's profiles. So this essentially gives them full admin control to log in, edit themselves, see everybody else, and also edit anybody else. So you only want to make sure you give control of this to uh, people that you do trust. You are still ultimately admin and you control the account tab. Once you fill this out and assign Johnny Smith a login and password, you just hit update and this information is going to be automatically emailed to Johnny so he can just quickly log in and start editing his profile from right then and there. One of the last features I want to mention here is we can go to the theme tab and what this is is it creates like a cookie cutter template for your organization. The reason why this is beneficial is say you're, you're managing a hundred different employees and your company phone number changes as, a, as an office as a whole on everybody's profile. You can go into the master profile and change the company phone number. It's going to update across everybody's profile. So in other words, this is the overarching control where you can add maybe your branding, maybe change the background colors and add a logo so everything matches your company theme and brand, change the button colors and so on. And that way, this will extrapolate to everybody's profile in unison. So anybody that maybe comes on board and maybe makes a new profile, all these settings are going to be automatically applied so everybody's profile looks the same in unison. There is just a couple more little features that I want to, I'm just going to fire through real quick. You can quickly reorder product for this profile. So say Susan loses her card. Um, I could quickly go in here and select an item, black steel card. We have all of our information right here. Um, we could say duplicate the previous design, leave a note here, and then you just send an order request. Another great feature is the reset button. So we could remove any of these profiles from our dashboard here, and we could also reset the profile. So maybe you have a high turnover, or maybe you have some of our interns, and you want to repurpose their business cards to maybe the new interns, so you're not wasting money on anything. What you can do is take their business card, assuming it does not have their name on it, you take their business card when their internship is over, and you can repurpose it to the new hire. So you can take John's card, reset it, and turn it into Susan and give that card to her. And when her internship's over, she could turn it back in and you could do that over and over again. We give the admin full control over their entire team. One thing I do want to mention is that we constantly upgrade the software. We're always adding new features, about four or five features every four or five weeks or so. We're constantly updating and changing things and making it more user-friendly and faster and adding more features. Um, so I want to make it clear that Possibly some of the things in this demo might not look as they do from when you're viewing it right now, but this is the foundation of what we offer from the team software, so these foundational things shouldn't be changing too much down the road.